Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. Obama 2.0. Biden promises to cure cancer if elected president. Former Vice President Joe Biden is like a human wrecking ball. He has to be the most reckless, off-the-cuff candidate in recent history. The pundits may claim he's a gut politician, but we all know the man cannot be trusted to speak words in front of other humans. Biden's remarks at a campaign rally Tuesday in Ottumwa, Iowa were no exception. I've worked so hard in my career that I promise you, if I'm elected president, you're going to see the single most important thing that changes America. We're going to cure cancer, Biden said, according to the Washington Examiner. Let me repeat that. In an effort to gain political support, Biden just promised to cure cancer. What was he thinking? His campaign advisors must be pulling out their hair if they have any left. How could Biden be so stupid? Alas, I repeat myself, if Biden has the ability to cure cancer, why couldn't he get it done when he was the second most powerful leader in the most important country in the world? Or was former President Barack Obama not interested in curing cancer? Or did Obama just not believe all of the hot air pouring out of his vice president's mouth? If I were Obama, I would have been happy to put that guy on any task that kept him out of the public spotlight so he couldn't say stupid things. Sure, Joe, go cure cancer. Whatever you got to do, man. Biden's remark draws some parallels to when the then-president-elect Obama said in 2008 that his election marked the moment when the rise of the oceans began to slow and our planet began to heal. Obama didn't quite come through on that promise, as the Daily Caller News Foundation noted in 2015, just as Biden will almost certainly fail to follow through on his pledge to cure cancer. Biden, for his part, has been part of several influential cancer research initiatives, including Obama's Cancer Moonshot and the Biden Cancer Initiative, the exclaimer reported. But his professional involvement in such endeavors should have caused him to be more hesitant in making such claims, not more confident. While I certainly hope cancer is cured as soon as possible, making such a promise on a national stage in an effort to get votes seems like the worst kind of manipulation. Many families have been devastated by that sister malady, and to try and get their vote with such an emotional ploy is beyond the pale. Biden himself has experienced the pain that cancer causes as his own son, Beau, passed away in 2015 after battling brain cancer. If you can beat President Donald Trump in 2020, go do it. If you can cure cancer, go do it. But don't make promises of accomplishing the latter in an effort to do the former. It's not fair to families who need hope. And it's just the latest in a long, long line of foolish things that Joe Biden has said. That was the news. We feel you would also be interested in this. Please click like and subscribe.